Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create an animated text pop-up effect in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create an animated text pop-up effect in VSCC. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo image in the editor and I've also written some text on top of my image. So this is the image which you see in the background and this is the text which I've written on top of it. Now first what you need to do is you need to double click on the text object and for this particular tutorial we will make use of the frame scale instead of the time scale. So click on this particular option which says show time or frame scale and the moment you click on this option your time scale will get switched with the frame scale. Now what we are going to do is for the first five frames, for the first five frames, we will apply a zoom effect. Then for the next three frames, we will again apply a zoom effect. And once again, for the next three frames, we will apply a third zoom effect. All right. So go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and now click on ok now currently my cursor is placed at zero frames so let me move it five times towards the right so click on this option which says move cursor to next frame so let me just click on this option five times so one two three four five now let me just decrease the duration of my zoom effect. Perfect. So look inside the zoom settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside levels option currently the value is 100%. So delete this value and instead of 100 write 0 semicolon 120 and now press enter on the keyboard. So for the first 5 frames we have applied the first zoom effect so this is done now for the next three frames we are again going to apply a zoom effect so click on this zoom effect press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this second zoom effect right after the first zoom effect like this my cursor is at five frames or the fifth frame so i need to move it towards the right side three times so click on this option once again three times so one two three now decrease the duration of the second zoom effect like this all right now look inside the zoom settings of this second zoom effect Inside levels option, currently the values are 0 semicolon 120. So what you need to do is instead of 0 semicolon 120, you need to write 120 semicolon 95 and then press enter on the keyboard. Perfect. So we are done with the second zoom effect as well. Now we need to apply the third zoom effect for the next three frames. So simply click on this second zoom effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now place this third zoom effect right after the second zoom effect like this and look inside the zoom settings of this third zoom effect. Inside the levels option currently the values are 100, 120 semicolon 95. So delete these two values and write 95 semicolon 100. And now press enter on the keyboard. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. So this was the text pop up effect. Now right at the end I would like to reverse it. So what I would like to do is I would like to click on this particular third zoom effect. Press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now place this particular zoom effect right somewhere around here. Now click on this second zoom effect 
press ctrl c to copy it press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this second zoom effect right after the first zoom effect like this and click on this first zoom effect press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this particular zoom effect right at the end like this now we will align it right at the end so this goes right here this goes right here and this goes right here now we need to reverse the values inside the levels option so click on the first zoom effect which is present right here inside the levels option the values are 95 semicolon 100 so simply reverse it instead of 95 semicolon 100 write 100 semicolon 95 and now press enter on the keyboard now click on the second zoom effect inside the levels option currently the values are 120 semicolon 95 so reverse the values instead of 120 semicolon 95 write 95 semicolon 120 and now press enter on the keyboard and now click on the third zoom effect inside the levels option currently the values are 0 semicolon 120 so instead of 0 semicolon 120 write 120 semicolon 0 and now press enter on the keyboard perfect and so now if i just quickly play the video for you from the start so this is my text pop-up effect and then it kind of goes back one final thing which i would like to do is i would like to add a sound effect so i've downloaded a sound um, from youtube this is a creative commons um, sound i can use it in my project so let me just import it so right in my downloads folder i have this sound effect present so let me just select it and click on open and now click on ok now place this sound effect right at the beginning like this and look inside the audio object settings which is present inside the properties window let me just increase the volume of my sound effect by a couple of decibels so let me just increase the volume by let's say 10 decibels perfect and so now if i just quickly play the video for you perfect once again let me just quickly play the video for you perfect so this is how you can create an animated text pop-up effect bstc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video till then thanks for watching